stop, yeah? Mm -hmm. you, you should not catch the snake because when you catch, you frighten him. Yeah. If you take it by under yeah. and take it up and maybe put the other hand like this, you yeah. know, then you, you don't stress the snake and the snake. Even a dangerous snake should not bite you. But I just don't want to take the risk yes. with, with a, a really dangerous snake. But one that has uh, not so dangerous, uh -huh. you can try it. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Here we have yeah, an snake egg. I'm not interested in biting An egg eating animals. snake? Yes. These ones, they feed only on eggs. You know that eggs don't know how to run. Yeah. Fight, so actually they didn't make any teeth. Mm -hmm. It looks like one of the uh, United Kingdom's um, grass snakes. That sort of thing. These ones, they, they steal the eggs of the birds. You steal the eggs of the birds, huh? And they're incredible. They can eat eggs four times the size of their head. Really? It's like chicken egg. Yeah, it's like chicken egg. Yeah, it's a nice one. Okay. Actually, they swallow the whole egg. Really? And there's a point like here. Yeah, big like this. Yes. Yeah. That will break the egg into two. Mm. He will swallow the yolk and vomit again the shell. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Only oh, likes to stay in the tree. Yes. They feed only on eggs, so maybe men we should not put it inside of our trousers. <laughs> <laughs> They live like small crocodiles. They kill their prey, rat, snake, lizard, egg, anything they can catch. They are not aggressive. They run away from you. Mm -hmm. But if you corner them and try to catch them, they can put a real fight. Right. They can bite, they can scratch, but their main weapon is their tail. They repeat it. Once we saw a dog that had the leg broken. Really? Because of the big of it. It's a powerful whip. Yes. Mm. And in the Gambia we have quite a lot of them because they are protected by a kind of taboo. Yeah. Most of the Gambians refuse to hurt them, thinking that it will bring them bad luck or bad health depending on their family needs. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. We went over there and we did see. Here we have the beauty snake. These ones they are not dangerous, okay. but they are very fast. So if you want to touch it, you can come and. Oh wow, wow, well, yeah, it's fast, isn't it? Now I'll just, I'll just, I'll just look at you doing that. I know that one's going to try and run away from me. Yeah. But they have no venom. There's two of them. A smaller one. The smaller one likes hiding. Uh -huh. The same thing is the hiding. There, there they are. Yeah. Yes. That is the fastest snake in the gun. Really? Actually, these ones also have venom, but the venom only for digestion. Yeah. So even if they bite you, then... Oh, uh, it's okay. Very good. Yes. These ones, when you go near to one, they run away. Yeah. That's why it is very difficult to catch one like this. Yes, indeed. And when you put it, it just uh, slip. Yes. Okay. They're the only snake that have a kind of jumping movement when running. Right. Yes, they, with their belly they make like... Oh, they're jumping. Yes. Like if, when they're scared, when, like they will stay one place searching for food, and when there's just like, if an eagle come, eagle want to catch it, they see something moving, boom, they jump. Right. So the eagle can miss. Okay. Let's keep moving, because I'm making this film, yeah? Yes. Here there was a cobra, 
Right now there's no cobra. No cobra. We're going to the python. These ones here are royal python. Royal python. They are called bull pythons by the Americans because when they are afraid, they don't think of biting. Right. They just roll themselves in a bull. Really? Yes. <laughs> roll themselves in a bull and hope um, whatever it is that's making them afraid goes away. <laughs> See, you can even catch them like this. Yeah. Their eyes are a little bit blue because it's going to change skin. Right, okay. If you want to hold it, you can hold it yeah. around your neck if you want. I'll just hold it like this. These ones, they fit only on mouse. So if you don't smell like a mouse, then there's no problem. Oh, well, hopefully I don't smell like a mouse today. Sometimes I can smell like a polecat or maybe a skunk. <laughs> So this python, it seems quite small. Yes, they, they, they live like this. This is an adult size. This is an adult size, okay. The baby, this one baby here. Oh, look at this little sweetie. Okay. Yeah. Can I swap you? Yes. Okay. They really have a kind of different skin because these kids are more small. Isn't that beautiful? It looks far better on a snake than it does on shoes or a handbag. Wow. This feels nice. If you see here on the upper lips, the upper lips, yeah. there's a row of small holes here. Uh -huh. Those are infrared sensitive organs. Right. Pythons are primitive snake, so yeah. they use that to see if there's a little snake. So they, they sense the through infrared? Yes. Mm. And here, this is their nose. Yeah. The eyes are normally not blue like this. Blue, they cannot see very well. Like you can see for this one, turn inside of a blue. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hello, mate. What's happening? You are in there. And when you check on the two sides of the cloaca, here, yeah. there are two small nails. And they used to be its here, legs, yeah? Here and here, yes. Very long time they used to be its leg. But now it is also, they use it for sex. Right. Yes. Oh, uh, it's on males, away. On males it come out more than on females. This one here is a female. Right. No male can reach here. Yeah. And pythons are better than us. They can stay 24 hours on the job. <laughs> and they are tired, they shoot 30 seconds. Right. Royal python. Gorgeous. Okay. That is very nice. So this little guy, he knows plenty about these snakes, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's very good, man. Here we have bell spark hinge turtles. These ones are called bell spark hinge because there's a hinge left here. Ah. They can close the back part of the shell like this. Right. See? Oh, oh, yeah. And if they want, they can do it by themselves. Right. If you want to hold it, you can hold it. Okay. Come on, don't be shy. This one, they live on land. Yeah. They live in the forest. It's got its legs trying to uh, get some action going. And they were eating fruits in the forest. But now the forest is gone and now they are starving. Starving? So oh, nothing. little chappy. That's not good, is it? It is hey. more difficult to have babies because 
the mother needs food the same time for survival or reproduction. Right. That's why it's difficult to have babies for you. Uh -huh. See? Yeah. Beautiful. And you got a real small one down here. Can I pick this one up? Hello, little fella. Ah. I think this one is maybe one of the more old. Yeah. And this one's only opening one eye. Just a little bit tired. Hey, a little bit tired. Water on them. When you put water on them, they'll open all the eyes. Uh huh. There you go. Back to mama. Okay. Yeah. Good. Now we got to my favorite sneak. Another python. Another python. Right. Well, we have to take it out with the stick. So I'm going to search for a stick. Okay. Wow. And, and there's a skin down here, Baba. Yes. Let me take the. Okay. No, I will stay here. Well, isn't this a pleasant affair? Very interesting. This one? Yeah. And so why, why do you need the stick? Because there's one and there's no two. Oh, okay. Like the second biggest one can bite. Right. And it attacks. But the biggest one is a thing. You have to take it out. Leave one with a hook on the end. And, and that one will bite you, will it? Yes, the second one. Oh, the second one. So why don't you pick that one up? That one I can pick it up, but it, um, it's too close to the Oh, and that one can reach you? Yes. Right. That's why I have to try and push it more far. Maybe we have to continue and then at the end we come back with the hook, yeah. take it out and then we can all touch it. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, let's continue. Maybe when we come back, the other one is gone and we can. Right. Lots of those small ones. Yes. This one is the second fastest. Okay. Second fastest. Okay. See the sun snake? They have no venom. Actually, it's enabled to the beauty snake, the fastest one. They're quite noble. Right. And here we have two, two kinds of them. We also have the baby of the big python. Yeah. You have to find it. Here it is, this one. Oh. It's a, it's a, it's a full of a pipe. Ah. Oh. So, next time you go walking in the tropical jungle, Amongst dry leaves, just remember what could be lurking in there. These ones are like dry leaves. Yeah.
How big is he? It's like this. All oh, right. Oh, sometimes I like to go in the water. Yes. But the, the big pedals like water very much. Right. They are very common in colony. See? Uh huh. Snake skin? Yes. The fast one. If you want it, you can take it. I'll hold it up so. Um, you can even see the head. Yeah. Just, you know. Oh, it's okay. okay. Let me get some. About the skin, some gummies believe that if you keep a part of skin inside of your pocket, it will be very rich. Right. Oh. Aya! Aya! Opa, don't do anything. Opa, don't do anything. Aya! Maybe we'll come back to this one when we're not filming yet. Go and see the next one. Is it still here? Okay. I'm missing that. Okay, here we have Nile crocodile. Nile a bit, crocodile. A little bit more adult. Right. Oh, I can see one down there. So it's a Frenchman that um, has created this uh, reptile park, mostly for injured animals that people find, like fallen down wells or maybe uh, snakes that have wandered too far into the village or something and they've been caught. And so they'll give them to um, this guy and uh, he looks after them very well. And obviously you can see that um, he's taught that little guy a whole lot about these reptiles and he's, uh, he's a very good guide, isn't he, Baba? Yeah. And so in here then we have uh, bigger Nile crocodiles. And so uh, here the little guy's coming with his catching implement. This one is the small one. Right. Okay. Yes. Whoa! Oh. But this one is not so big. We have very big ones, but we release them because this cage is not enough big for them. Yeah. So next time you go paddling in the uh, creek, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just remember. The shit lurking around. Normally we clean no. this, but us sometimes we look like this color. Yeah. Because sometimes the when we have a new one, they prefer like this color than yeah. the white. Uh -huh. Because sometimes they can have diarrhea, they don't feel like in nature and they refuse food. Right. So, do you hold these ones? No. No. They're Those two. there, yes. This one, for crocodiles, is more difficult when they're big than them. Yeah. They can bite and the bite can break your hand. Yeah. The small one bit me here, but it just has some blood and then it was finished. Right.
That was my first time to be beating my crocodile. Oh yeah! There he is. Now, maybe he's going to go up. When he gets dead, I think. Get up. There he is. Whew. Oh, he's looking a bit ferocious. He's pissed off now. Hey, you pissed off. Mm -hmm. I see all the crocodiles we had here, they are put here for the same reason. What reason is that? They fell inside of a well. Right. And in a well, they cannot adapt their temperature from the sun to the shade. Ah. So they were full of endoparasites. Oh, right. But now they are really getting okay. This one is okay already. It's only for the last one, the smallest one, which is this side. The one you saw here, here, yeah. the small one. That one is a little bit sick. Okay. But normally there are three of them. And so, um, is it so that when a crocodile bites you, they have so much um, like infection in their teeth and saliva? Well, no, not really. It has no like no venom. No, no venom, but the, in 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 the saliva, it's uh, full of bacteria, and when it bites the animal, it infects the animal. Mm. It can't really do that. Uh -huh. Well, maybe if it bites you, your hand gets. I'll best have a word with David Attenborough because that's what he told me. Uh, because when they bite you, when your hand is out, maybe it will infect because of the air. But I don't really think so. It will yeah. Not it. Okay. Let's have a look at what we've got next then, shall we? Yes. So look. What is it coming next? Then next we are having baby turtles. Baby turtles. Yes. Then maybe we can go and take out the big one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And um, it obviously it's uh, look, look how it's moving. If you can see that, look how these scales uh, uh, enable it to move. It's very, very smooth. They move like a worm. They got these ones, they can move like two ways. They can move like a worm, like this. Yeah. Or they, when they want to go faster, they move. Oh, they like go this. like this, do they? Yes. But most of the snake, it's not all snakes that can do this. No. Like this. For big snakes, they can do it. But for small snakes, they can do it. No. They only work like this. Okay. If you want to make a picture or video, you can. If you want, you can all lift it up together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we lift him? Yes. Well, I'll lift him here, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Come on, then. Up we go. Up we go. Uh. Thank you. <laughs> and so th this one, this one, is a constrictor. Yes. And so it doesn't have any venom. It just squeezes the life out of its animal and swallows it whole. Yes. Yeah. That's why they have big muscles here. Yeah. They're very big. And so what do you feed them? Well, we give them the gummy and put it 
which is a kind of big rat. Here in the game, our rats are big like this. Right. Yeah, I've seen one. You showed me one, didn't you? Yeah. That's what we give them to eat. And sometimes we can give them cats and dogs. Cats and dogs? Yes, but we give them the one that has been squashed by the rats. Uh -huh. Because... Ooh. Where are you going, mate? Where do you want to go? <laughs> Yeah. Actually, a big one like the one here is potentially able to kill a human being. Mm. But when they see you, they know that they cannot swallow you, so they will not try. Yeah. But there are two cases where I have to. Well, if I let his head go, what's he going to do? Nothing. Oh, okay. He's just going to try and move. He's going to try and go away. Mm. Well, you ain't going nowhere, mate, because we got you now. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Whew. Heavy boy. Okay. Shall we put this uh, baby back then? Yes. That was beautiful, that was. A big one like the one here is potentially even better than the human being. Right. What do you know here? They know that they can't swallow you. <clears throat> so they're not shy. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, um, Mr. Snake. Do you call them anything? No. Just call them pythons. Yes, because they don't have snakes at death. All right. Like for cobras, even though they're dead. Yeah. They just yeah. feel the vibration. Yeah, there you go. Hmm, fantastic. There are two cases where I have to be really careful with these ones. Yeah? This one, if the mother is laying on its egg. Right. When you go and disturb the egg, they can put a real fight. Yeah. The second case is when the mother is laying on its egg. The second case is when you have one. You put it inside of a cake, a wild one. Yeah. Every day you open the door and throw food. One day you say that you are going to try and tame it. Yeah. You open the door to get in. The snake will take the opening of the door as a Pavlovian reaction. Ah. I may forget to check the size and attack. Right. Those are the two cases. But so maybe this shoot, this one could like to chew you. Yes, but he gonna swallow me, so he will not try. Ah. So, only so what will you do if he tries to chew you? If like uh, he gets his teeth on your head, what will you do? Well, I'll try not to let him. Will you give him the guillotine? <laughs> I'll try first when, like, if he bite me on the leg, he start wrapping around. Yeah. I'll try first to go and catch the head. Yeah. Take a stick, try and open. Uh -huh. the, they have a lot of teeth, so when you have to open the teeth, you have to take um, a stick, put it inside, open it. Pull it out. Yeah, so when, after pulling out, you hold the head tight. Yeah. Those legs are very strong. Yeah. And then when you take one leg out, you can start. Okay, brilliant. Mm, let's go then. Okay. What of those ones? Those ones are not very thin, so we cannot go and catch them. And I actually, see one there. Okay, I see underwater. Yeah. Actually, this one is an Asian one. Yeah. That's why the color is quite different. Uh huh. The other ones they are full coming. Right. So what are we going to see next? Next, we are going to put small turtle. Ah, small turtle. Yes. So, small turtle next then. Isn't this exciting, people? They are baby turtles. After I'm sure they are carrying. Okay. Brilliant. You see, and I, I realise, uh, you people, this is what you've been looking for. You've been looking for something like this, and maybe you want to see something being eaten and all that, because it's all the adrenaline rush, and, uh, you know, these days it's got to be more, more, more. It's got to be super exciting. But, honestly, um, some of the greatest experiences I've had here in the Gambia are just when I just become very, very calm and just listen and just look and just know that I'm being and just contemplate what is this? This amazing experience because it, it doesn't have to be all the time flashing, 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 stimulating, entertaining because when you become calm it becomes much, much more stimulating and entertaining. And it's a funny thing to try and explain. People just get bored, but you won't realize it until you actually experience it. Um, but, but that's the thing. If, if I was just to sit down very, very quiet and calmly with one of these animals and just to observe it, can you imagine the amount of information that I would absorb and the connection I would have with that animal? And it would make me feel this animal instead of just you know, looking at it and, you know, with expectation. No expectation, just to look, just to be and just to feel. That's what most of this is about, people.
and I'm, I've been trying to tell you over this last few months, it's about the real listening. It's like when we was on safari. Turn the engine off. Everybody be quiet and just listen to the things that you will never hear when you're too busy looking for the big giraffe and the big rhinoceros and all the rest of it. There's so much more in this world that's going on. And so you need to tune in to the finer aspects of it. Okay? Yeah. So are these called terrapin? Yes, terrapin. Yeah. These ones, they have the re their reproduction more or less every year, keeping few of them because they are cute. Yeah. But most of them we release them. I'll show you the appearance later. And these ones, they can close the front part of the shell. Like, they can close it completely. Oh right, they can close it completely. Yes, but on a baby, this one is not fully grown, so you cannot see. But on the adults, I will show you. You can close it completely. We have two of them. Yeah. Hello, matey. Must be hey. It is. It feels, you know, kind of um, weird to hold this. It's kind of like a mollusk, like some sort of like um, you know, shellfish. Uh, curiously, because it, it you know it looks like uh, some sort of whelk that you'd see stuck on rocks, um, you know, right next to the sea. Uh, it's got that sort of texture to it and, and uh, visual, but there's there's a little face in there. Yeah. Yes. And see, these ones are baby It's not enough. It's not very. That's good. soft. Yes. It's yeah. Because it's not cool. Hmm. Yeah. These ones are here are algae. Right, yeah. That's the stick on them. They're little beauties, they are. And here in the Gambia, people, when they have them, they throw them inside of their well. Really? Yes. Why? Uh -huh. Because in a well, they will dig, and any, anything that falls inside, they will eat it. Uh -huh. So they eat all the little bugs and bacteria? Yes. Uh -huh. But they also be shitting, so maybe that would spoil the water? Yes. Hmm. When like a rat, uh, mice fall inside, before the mice will die and rot inside the water, yeah. they can eat it or yeah. before they leave for, and fall inside, ah. they can eat it. Yeah. That's why they throw them inside mm -hmm. of the water. The same for tilapia. When yeah. you have tilapia, it's straight in the well. Maybe we should start keeping one in our bottles of water. <laughs> yeah. To eat all the bacteria and shit from it. <laughs> so what do we have to see next? Okay, land crabs. What? Land crabs? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm. Here we have land crabs. Yeah. These ones, they are the first occasion when there's enough moisture on land, mm -hmm. they climb on land. And sometimes you can see them more than 10 kilometers on land. Right. And the rainy season. And they got a strong pincer, huh? Yes, that's why it's very big. Yeah. And, and um, can these be eaten? Well, some people eat them, but most of the people don't eat them. No. Yes, because they say that they eat everything, and that's true. They eat poop. Are they eat all this shit leaf. and it's not good? Yes, everything. Everything eatable, they can eat it. And do you pick any of these up? Uh, I can pick them up, but sometimes this one is very good. There. In the Gambia, when people have them, they break the big pieces. Oh, oh mm -hmm. they've broken this so it can't uh, bite you or yeah. pinch you. Well, we did not broke it. The oh, are they fighting, are they? Yes, they can fight. And sometimes when one's leg is broken, another one will just come take the leg. And, and if I pick it up from behind, like this, it can bite you. It can bite? Yes. And can it reach underneath? It can't reach, but when how you catch them, yeah, like, we, we never catch them like that. Ah. Like, if you want, you can catch it. Like you catch the big. Oh, you catch them by the, the pincers. Yes, the big pins. Yeah. You catch, the small one is the one they move the more, but the big one when they catch you with it is. Okay, let me see if I can catch this one then. So I'm going to catch him like this. And I'm going to catch him like this. Strong. Strong. 
strong and you have to hold them strong they are ferocious jeez so what do you want to do now <laughs> hey you want to fight you want to do some jujitsu <laughs> this guy this guy does jujitsu don't you yes. so he's going to show us some moves later and um also kyokushin karate yes we do some karate yeah because that was my style so uh, put this little guy back yes there you go Likewise. Brilliant. Okay. okay. Yeah. Once even we saw one land crab climbing on top of it. Really? Right up the palm? Yes. Okay, here we have another kind of trip. <coughs> These ones here are ecological refugees. 20 what? years ago, they were known in the Gambia. Right. They lived in the Sinisal in Senegal. Ah. But with the deforestation and desertification, they are moving more and more here. Mm. And now we are having more and more of them. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so um, I've probably got about an hour and a half on here, so I just want to know how many more animals are we going to be seeing? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Nine, uh -huh. ten. Ten. And what are they? Eleven. We have snakes, we have chameleons, right. we have dangerous snakes. We have the parent of the small one. Yeah. We have a kind of lizard snake that lives inside the ground. Ah. That you see, that lives near the beach side. Ah. We have a, a dangerous snake, so a small and that's it. Ah. So, there's quite a lot of things that oh. I, I'm going to be filming today. A piece of me. And Can you get scared? Oh, it is fist on you. Yes, so uh, I need to save some film. So um, I'm going to have to cut it here. Well, maybe we'll make a little one at the end. Uh, but you get the picture here, yeah, guys. It's, uh, it's good fun being involved in the natural world and touching and really looking, smelling and feeling. Feeling, being connected with these little things. Observing it. It's brilliant. Yeah. So, what's your name? Asan. Asan. Okay, Asan. So, um, you're a brilliant guide. We're going to talk at the end yet. But for now, just say goodbye to the people. Goodbye. And uh, we'll see you later. Yeah. Okay.